I wanted to go over some like really lightweight but really durable sleep systems. Um, we, you know, there's a lot of talk about just ultra lightweight, whether it be uh, like a quilt, um, you know, made of, of uh, like 850 filled down, uh, things of that nature, but they're not overly durable. And what uh, Frank and I have tried to do is find really durable, but also um, really lightweight system. So these are a few of the options. Uh, this right here is a Rav Alpine bivy. Uh, it, it's not, it's not one of those bivvies that you'll use to keep like a little bit of a splashing off. This is a full on what I call like a big wall bivy. You can survive in it. It actually raises the uh, temperature of your sleeping bag or increases the rating because it does trap heat inside. It's made of event um, and you can use just this alone and be fine and it's under a pound. So pretty lightweight. You don't have to run Tyvek um, for a ground cloth with this. I'll run my pad inside the bag. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I will to save on weight. So Rab Alpine Bivy is, is definitely a bomb proof system where you can run that alone uh, if, if needed. Now Tyvek, this is another option that's really lightweight. This is a four by eight sheet. I bought this off Amazon. I'll use this as a ground cloth. Uh, a lot of times if we kill something, we'll lay this out to put the meat on as well. So it's got multiple uses, but this works great for a ground sheet. So if I had this laid out, and then I've got my tarp above. I skip the bivy if I'm running the uh, the Tyvek, and I just run my sleeping bag above that. So Tyvek is a huge, uh, great option. That's it's huge benefit, and it doesn't weigh very much. Now, with this, this is a believe it or not, my sleeping pad, stakes, guy outlines, and shelter all in this one bag. This is a Kafaru Paratarp. Uh, I believe it weighs 13 ounces. So I'm pretty sure it does. I've got. 10 stakes in there. This is a Clement, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, sleeping pad. It, it weighs 11 ounces, takes like 11 breaths to fill it up, compresses down really small. And then in here, uh, this is the Paratarp. Uh, it's like a little over five foot wide in the back. Um, I think it's eight foot long. I actually have it written down. What is it, Frank? I should probably know this stuff. Frank didn't want to talk, so he just threw me that. It's nine foot six long, eight wide in the front, five in the back, pitched flat. So quite a bit of coverage over you. Um, I've beaten, I've had this one for a while and I've beaten the crap out of it. So that's another good option as far as super lightweight, super durable. Run the Tyvek as you're on the ground and then run this over your head, this pad, and then run a Kafaru slick bag, which can take a ton of abuse. So when you talk about the slick bag, this is a 20 degree, um, I mean, very few people find it cold at 20 degrees. Uh, it's synthetic, it can, so it can take the, uh, a, a beating, still get wet, keep you alive. Uh, this is two pounds, three ounces, and literally compresses down, not quite as small as a down bag, but close, uh, still pretty freaking lightweight. This is in a, one of our five string medium compression sacks. But you figure what I, for what I need, like total system, let's say just right here getting rid of this that's my entire sleep system right there with an eight foot wide or five foot wide depending because it's swedged but i've got a ground cloth good overhead right here i've got a bag that can get soaking wet it's extremely wind resistant the outer shell that we use you know if i want to go even deeper i can add this bivy sack that gives me option of just sleeping in the bivy, just using the tarp. If I need to take the bivy with me, I can leave the tarp back at camp with some of my gear underneath it and use this if I just get stuck out overnight. So extremely lightweight, extremely durable, um, and, and extremely versatile, uh, these systems that we use. And uh, I'm not saying you can't go lighter. You certainly can. You can go with a down bag. That'll definitely uh, do it, or a quilt. Uh, it's just with the, synth the synthetic... Uh, as well as the exterior, uh, the outer shell that we use. It's real durable, it's real wind, res wind resistant, and it's really water resistant, what we use on our slick bag. So either way, a few different options. This is not the only pad that we use. We also use a Thermarest x Lite, of X-Therm. Uh, we also use x pads But the Clement is definitely the one that compresses down the smallest. It doesn't have the highest R value, but it does uh, get the smallest and is the lightest weight. Um, as far as bivvies go, 
This is not the lightest bivy, but this is the lightest I've found that breathes well and can withstand just about any storm and keep you alive. It has a bug, bug net as well, and that's a Rab Alpine bivy. So uh, that's about it. If you guys have any questions once we post these videos up, don't be afraid to either post them up on uh, Kafaru Cast Instagram page or on YouTube, and we can answer with maybe some of the other stuff we've used as well.